A comfortable ride is dependent on your car's AC and heat systems operating correctly. You'll hate getting in the car if the climate control system acts up or doesn't give you the desired temperature. One issue that you might be facing is a malfunctioning blend door actuator. In this brief video, we assess the primary signs that indicate a malfunctioning blend door actuator. We will also discuss its replacement cost and testing algorithm. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Strange sounds. A range of noises could be heard as the blend door actuator fails. You might hear knocking sounds when the climate control system is first turned on. Additionally, there might be a clicking noise coming from the dashboard. These noises may be quiet or loud, intermittent or continuous. Even more challenging to diagnose are sporadic noises that may be dealt with. Though they appear to be the most common, clicking and knocking aren't the only sounds heard. Additionally, there might be droning or squeaking sounds. You may notice the sound getting louder as the issue worsen, which is one of the reasons it's beneficial to have it checked out as soon as issues arise. Wrong temperature. The incorrect temperature could permanently emerge from the vents if the blend door actuator breaks completely. This could be evident when the air conditioner is running and heat escapes, and vice versa. It's acceptable to wait a minute or so for the system to adjust if you've recently switched controls. After that minute, the temperature ought to correspond with the controls, or else a new blend door actuator might need to be installed. Inconsistent airflow. Air will exit the blend door actuator at a good rate when it is operating properly. It ought to always stay the same. If there are moments when the airflow is more difficult than others, there may be an issue. The blend door's back and forth motion disrupts airflow, deviating the normal flow and producing irregularities. It takes more than inconsistent airflow to demonstrate that the blend door actuator is malfunctioning. In addition, a blocked intake, a clogged cabin air filter, or a failing fan may be the source of this issue. Inconsistent temperature. When you switch on your car's air conditioning or heating, you anticipate a specific temperature emerging from the vents. Anything less than that will indicate that something is wrong. When the temperature fluctuates on its own, it becomes even more concerning. An obvious sign that there might be a problem with the blend door actuator is if you are experiencing a fluctuation in temperature. There will be significant variations in temperature, but not in the controls themselves. How to test? You can test the blend door actuator by following a few easy steps to see if it's the source of the climate control problems. But depending on the kind of car you drive, there are different ways to test it, so it's crucial to consult the service manual. Here are some additional tips that might be helpful in addition to what you read in the manual. Attempt to supply the blend door actuator with direct power. If the door actuator is powered, a feedback sensor might be the source of the issue. Another possibility is that the problems are coming from the output signal. To prevent harm to the actuator or the car's electrical system, you must have the appropriate wiring diagram for this. You can look for diagnostic trouble codes connected to the blend door actuators if you possess an advanced scan tool. Cheap OBD2 code scanners cannot read these codes. An advanced scan tool can also be used to test the blend door actuator. To test the door's response, send power to it. Seek professional assistance if you lack the tools required to conduct diagnostics. If not, you might start replacing parts that aren't broken and waste money. Replacement cost. The average cost to have the blend door actuator replaced by a qualified mechanic is between $150 and $550. Although blend door actuators are generally not very expensive, many cars make it difficult to replace them. Furthermore, you will have to pay more if you have a luxury vehicle that needs a technician with specialized training or if you prefer OEM parts over aftermarket ones. To replace the blend door actuator at home on a budget, you don't need a lot of tools. It can, however, be well concealed behind the dashboard and difficult to reach without removing a number of components. Hope the information was helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.